Yep. Yep. Oh. Um, Part of the fun of the Leopard series and its naming is that the Germans say to their clients, you can call it whatever you want. Now, we'll start off with the versions of the actual MBT. So we had the a, we had the Leopard 1. We had the Leopard. This is what it starts off with. I knew a Leopard 2 was coming. So it's all, it's all called the Leopard. Uh, then the A1 came about, which was adding skirts, uh, new tracks, and a stabilizer for the gun. And the A2, which was um, thicker turret armor. The A3, which was the uh, welded turret. So the first turrets were cast uh, cast steel. And then we brought in a welded turret, which increases your decreases weight, increases volume inside the uh, thing, and um, uh, something else I can't remember. The A4, which is the new fire control system. Then we went to the... A1A1, which was the add-on armor. So you'll see a number of uh, versions, like the one right behind me, the Canadian has That's a number. A C2. Yep. Yep. Well, um, Part of the fun of the Leopard series and its naming is that the Germans say to their clients, "You can call it whatever you want." Yep. Um, it's yeah, just an interesting part of why the Germans are so successful with tank exports is uh, they have a very customer-centric approach, where it's like, "What do you want? We'll, we'll, we'll do something different for you." Um, whereas other countries, it's more a uh, here's the thing. Do you want it? It's like, well, it's not really suited to our conditions. Yeah. 